Kanban Task Manager builds on the idea of the traditional Kanban board, where cards are moved between faces as work proceeds. I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions, and in this demo, I'll give an introduction to Kanban Task Manager for SharePoint. Here you see the Kanban Task Manager Kanban board in SharePoint with a number of tasks for different projects. These are our example data that you can load if you want to evaluate Kanban Task Manager. The task cards can be moved within and between faces and lanes. I'm using the mouse here, but if you have a touch screen, you can move the tasks with a finger. I can resize the Kanban board by using the control key and the plus or minus key. The tasks are color coded by project or responsible, and you can use any colors you like. This red border on the card is a warning that the task has passed its due date, and this line shows how much of the task that has been completed. This is the checklist count, which also in a way shows the task status. Double click on a task to open it in edit mode. Here are the drop downs where the Kanban task manager values can be selected. To create a new task, double click on an empty space in a face. You can also click on the plus sign or hit the control and enter keys. Click on the search icon to search all tasks. A left pane will open and here you can also filter the tasks by project, responsible and priority. If you want to share the filtered Kanban view, you can copy the URL here. In the Kanban task manager configuration page, you can create a custom parameter to add to the tasks and to filter by. When you enter a name here, a new tab will be displayed where you can enter the values you want to use. I'll just take a quick tour around the rest of the configuration page now because I've explained the settings in detail in a separate demo. Here you can define how the color coding should be used in Kanban Task Manager. The checklist feature makes it easier to work with large tasks. And with the time logging, you can keep track of how much time users spend on their tasks. These two features are enabled by default. Under this tab, you can fill out the projects you want to use. The SharePoint status values are by default used as face names, and the responsible persons are automatically added here when tasks are assigned to different SharePoint users. By default, Kanban Task Manager uses a task list called KTM Tasks, which is created during the installation. If you want to use another list, you can select it here. Each user's open tasks can be embedded in any page in the Kanban Task Manager site. You can get the embed code here. When the Kanban Task Manager add-in has been configured, the Kanban Task Manager app part can be added to any wiki or web part page in the site. The Kanban Manager app part shows the same Kanban board with the same tasks and settings as the add-in, and tasks can be created or edited either in the add-in or in the app part. When I open a task, you see that the task description field gives more possibilities than the add-in form. The app part support attachments, videos, and inline images, but these are not supported in the add-in. This means that if you add attachments, videos, or inline images to the tasks in the app part, they will not be visible in the add-in. Let's go back to the Kanban board now. If you right-click on a task, a details pane will open. Here you can read the description, change the progress bar, and mark the task as completed. If enabled in the settings, the checklist and time logging are also found here. This Excel icon is for statistics, but I'll not go into that now, as we have a separate demonstrations on the Excel reports. Instead, we'll take a look at the other views for open tasks. The month view gives an overview over when tasks are supposed to start and end. These are the tasks of the current month, but I can change month here. The slots are color coded by project or responsible, depending on which option is selected in the settings. You may also have an overview 
of all tasks during the year, or see tasks on a timeline grouped by responsible or project. Another view grouped by project is the project view, where each project is visualized as a pie chart, and each slice of the pie represents a face. Here you can see how many tasks are open in each project and which phase they're in. The daily trend shows the statuses of all tasks from the last 30 days in a line chart representation. Here you can see how many tasks were open, new, and closed each day. The day report shows activities on a specified day. Here you can see the tasks that were created, opened, closed, delayed, and modified on the selected date. I'll end my introduction now, but you're welcome to learn much more about Kanban Task Manager on the Kalmstrom.com website. Thank you for watching this demo.